Nice. Ryu in the Smash Bros. universe. Definitely a combination a lot of people didn't see coming, myself included. I honestly expected Cory Baxter to be in the game before, well, anyone, to be honest. But here he is, the king of the Hadouken smashing it out with Nintendo's icons. A lot of people have their questions, but the one we're exploring today is... Why and how? Why is Ryu all of a sudden in a new universe, duking it out with cute little Ness and Pikachu? And how did he get here? Well, looking at the character himself might actually expose the truth to this uncanny crossover. Ryu is one of the main characters in the ongoing Street Fighter series. He's made an appearance in every single installment of the franchise. Just like many fighting game characters, we initially don't know very much about them. But in Ryu's case, this is understandable. He is a very silent and serious person. Just looking at him, his presence alone invokes that he isn't here to mess around. However, despite his seemingly cold demeanor, he is a very humble and kind-hearted person. He just takes his martial arts very seriously. In Marvel vs. Capcom, he holds the heroes like Captain America and Spider-Man on a very high pedestal. And by the time Street Fighter 3 came out, Ryu was willing to greet people with a smile and even give them some friendly advice. But that still didn't stop him from kicking everyone in the face. But believe it or not, that is an important piece to this puzzle, Ryu's motivations. Ryu is very much against materialistic things. In a fighting competition, he doesn't want a first place trophy. All he truly needs to be satisfied is the training and mastery that comes from a fight. Coming in contact with new opponents that offer new fighting styles for him to master. The reason Ryu is very distant and quiet is because he's a wandering warrior, constantly traveling all over the world in search for his new challenge. That's what drives him. So naturally, the Smash Bros. universe seems like a perfect fit for Ryu. I mean, there's a ton of unorthodox characters that he could learn a thing or two from, and he's already battled it out with Marvel's heroes and villains, so why not let him join in on the fun? So now we know why he's here, but more importantly though, how did he get here? How does one travel through universes? And believe it or not, there is an explanation for that. Ryu's fighting style is the art of Ansatsuken, or Shotokan as it's more well known. Shotokan is fueled and energized by something called Satsui no Hado, the surge of murderous intent. Anyone who trains in the art of Shotokan will awaken an evil energy within, causing a person's most violent aspects of the fighting style to come out, usually resulting in death for their opponents you know, in relation to the Street Fighter universe. Shotokan is a real-life martial art, but Capcom just borrowed the name because Ansatsuken could be a pain to pronounce, I guess. But back to Ryu. He doesn't want to kill anyone. Remember, all he wants to do is train and fight. But the style of fighting he's trained in is surging with evil murderous energy. And it does exist. Ryu has even had occasions where this evil energy was let loose. Luckily, however, there is a way to balance this out. A way to fight off one's inner demons. A big part of Shotokan, and any martial arts really, is the understanding of one's inner power and spirit, known as Chakra. Here's how it basically works. It is said to believe that inside all of us contain seven chakras in which energy flows through. These seven chakras are the root, sacral, solar plexus, heart, throat, third eye, which is the forehead, I promise, and crown chakra. These seven chakras revitalize the body in different ways, and mastering them gives you power and energy beyond belief. If you manage to master all seven, however, it is said that you pretty much become an omniscient god, which being able to master all seven is pretty much impossible for most people. But it still has its perks. Every individual chakra has its own set of supernatural abilities that you gain if you're able to master it. Now, whether or not you actually choose to believe in chakra is totally up to you. But since we're talking about the Street Fighter universe, Chakra is very much real. Considering this is also a place where getting good at martial arts lets you shoot electricity from your hands. It doesn't, it doesn't work. I've tried. 
Now, finding out Ryu's dominant chakra is actually pretty easy. For example, remember the throat chakra I mentioned? People who are masters in this specific chakra are masters of the art of communication and self-expression of one's feelings. Ryu definitely is not that one. He's not the kind of guy to sit down over a cup of tea and talk about his day. No, Ryu's most prominent chakra is the heart chakra. This man is cursed with an evil force dwelling within his body. There's no real way of escaping it. The best he could do is try to keep it under control. He doesn't value materialistic things. He only wants to better himself in the way of fighting. He has the power to become an evil, unstoppable force. But with his good heart, he chooses to only better himself in a fair way. Every chakra has an element. The element of the heart chakra is air, symbolizing freedom and openness. If one masters the heart chakra, they will be able to leave their physical being and with ease travel to any plane of existence there is, just like the wind. And yes, this does include different universes. Which brings us here to the world of Smash. Ryu is on a quest to seek out the best fighters out there. Anywhere, he has no universal boundaries. He'll duke it out with the likes of Link, Kirby, Donkey Kong, and of course, Mario, the big daddy of them all. It's Ryu's destiny to fight it out with the best fighting has to offer. And to be honest, it doesn't get much better than the Smash Bros. Universe. <sighs> but you know what? I know this video is going to upset someone because I always manage to do that. So let's try this again. One day, Capcom was hanging out with Nintendo. Before releasing Street Fighter V, Capcom worked a deal with Nintendo to shove him in one of the most popular fighting games out there, resulting in all of the big companies making their money. Ah, and they all lived happily ever goddamn after.